Pets play roles as friends and family members of their owners. However, nobody wants an aggressive companion or to be hurt by a friend. Unlike humans, animals can't talk, so the only way that they can show their feelings is through their behavior. Teresa Kopakova is a dog trainer, and she is experienced in helping dogs adapt to a new home. She said people usually misinterpret the aggression. They think a dog is aggressive when it barks or is too active, and they will return the dog back to the shelter. However, those behaviors are signs of fear for dogs. But really, and on walks too, in neighborhoods you see this all the time. People get really scared and say, "Oh my gosh, your dog is so aggressive," and it's usually not an aggressive tendency because aggression is an intent to hurt somebody or an intent to harm another. And most often, when dogs are barking at each other, you know their teeth are showing, and that's usually a signal of fear. They're just afraid of what's about to happen. Kobukawa volunteers at the Northeast Animal Shelter. The Salem, Massachusetts shelter is one of the largest New England no-kill animal shelters. A key purpose of the shelter is to find homes for animals in the shelter and provide adopters with the best pets that fit their lifestyle. Adoption counselor Alison Mikko said the shelter tries hard to work with every animals, especially the challenging ones. There are animals that、um, just don't do well in a domestic setting, so they don't. You know, they're not able to live in a home. They're not able to live in a shelter, especially.、Um, and those animals can be really challenging. And we, the folks at a no-kill shelter, often have to send away animals that they are unable to work with, such as overly aggressive animals. <coughs> they look for better options to rescue their lives. We do have a lot of different. Different people coming in and、um, different situations,、um, and we always find that match. But there are cases where we do have to find like a rescue group that works with that specific breed,、um, or sometimes we we found、um, another rescue that takes difficult animals.、Um, and a lot of the times we just try to bring the animal to a place where they would be best suited. Um, instead of a shelter environment, Sally Thompson has been working as a volunteer in the shelter for more than four years. She cares for the dogs and is in charge of training new volunteers. She has three dogs, and she said she was a fail foster. It means she ended up adopting a dog which she fostered.、Um, you know, we just spend time with them and uh, then um, bring them back and grab the next dog, and so on and so forth. And Once the dogs have all been walked, within a couple of hours, there are other things that we do. We have to keep the laundry going.、Um, uh, we can cut up towels for paper towels that we use, like paper towels.、Um, wash the windows,、um, clean the kennels, and of course, we always clean up after the animals. So there's a lot to do. It's, you know, it's no sitting down on your shift. <laughs> Thompson said there are not many cases of seriously bad animals in the shelter. Some dogs do have some behavioral issues, such as being jumpy and biting around. However, she said the training programs can address those issues effectively. The shelter can provide more professional training than a general pet owner can do. Adopters usually send back the pets to the shelter when they face training difficulties, such as biting or a reckless proposition. A dog named Finley that has been returned three times was a great challenge. That he recently found his best owners, Sarah Ginopoulos and Daniel Page. So he is—he does get really excited though when I do come home. His tail wags a lot.、Um, he's kind of dancing all over the place and kind of bouncing around.、Uh, he does great.、Uh, he hasn't shown any aggressive behavior towards other dogs or any vicious behavior.、Um, he's just been a really great dog to interact with for for other dogs too. Page says he thinks Finley is the great dog who is smart and energetic. He thinks the previous owners didn't understand Finley well. The second family, I think, was the family that took him home for about 48 hours. They had a, a child that thought it was a good idea to to really just surprise the dog, jump on the dog in the middle of his sleep, and、uh, wake him up. I mean, that's okay. A dog, you can't blame a dog for coming out biting like he did. I try to think the third the third family. I think she, was a single woman. So she was at her job ten to twelve hours every day, 
And for a dog like Finley, he needs a lot of stimulation, I mean, during, during all the day. Trina Kopkova said training dogs is more like training people how to read the animal's body language. So providing a training program for owners to understand their pets will be a good way to improve the situation for dogs like Finley, who often return to the shelter. That would really help their transition from a shelter into a home, and it would help people just as much of learning that, okay, the first few weeks in the home, the dog may really be, you know, unfocused, or they might be very um, random on their walks, you know, crossing in front of you, sniffing everything, not sure where to go, because it's a typical thing for them to do when they're getting used to a new space. To enjoy a family with an energetic pet, it's necessary for owners to give an understanding of their pets. For Amazon College, I'm Liang Zixu.